I know you've been looking forward to this day for so long. And congratulations also to your parents, to your siblings, to the rest of your families and friends who are here. A beautiful day, and I know so many people are so happy for you. And I know how happy you are to have these people here. Because these people have formed you into the people that you are. They're responsible in large part for the person you're marrying. And that's something that came across profoundly talking to the two of you. Right, I asked Chandler, Chandler, why Kaylin? Because she is God's great gift of love to me. What a beautiful thing to say about your wife-to-be. I asked Kaylin, how about you? She said nothing. <laughs> Not because she didn't have anything to say, it's because the words couldn't come out. Again, beautiful. When two people such as yourself love one another so deeply. I, Chandler, take you, Kaylin, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I, Kaylin, take you, Chandler, to be my husband. I, Kaylin, take you, Chandler, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Gillis. This is where it gets really hard, and it's not because I don't have anything nice to say about the two of you. It is really hard to put into words how great you both are. I was lucky enough to know both of you before you knew each other. I loved you both then, but I can honestly say I love you both better now that you have each other. In fact, isn't that what makes a great relationship? Being a great person on your own but finding somebody who makes you even better, that's definitely true about Kaylin and Chandler, and I have firsthand witnessed that. Chandler, even though you're younger than me, I've always looked up to you in a lot of ways. You're one of the most hardworking and kind human beings I know, somebody I can definitely trust my best friend's heart with, but don't think for a second I'm not watching you. Kaylin, you're all right, I guess. We've, been, we've had so many laughs and tears over the years. I think we've truly been through it all together. You were there for some of my favorite memories and there to pick up the pieces during some of my worst. You were my family when I was away at college. You cheered me on when I passed my nursing exams, stood by my side on my own wedding day, Kaylin, you have a heart of gold. <laughs> and I would not be the person I am here today without you. Our friendship is truly one of a kind and it just keeps getting better and better as the years go on. I love you.
And with that, <laughs> can we please raise your glass? Here's to the past for all that you've learned. Here's to the present for all that you share. Here's to the future for all that you've got to look forward to. Congratulations, Kaylin and Chandler. I love you both. Kaylin is an awesome person. I could not think of a better match for my brother. Uh, she is a lot of fun and has an also, almost an identical sense of humor as my brother. Uh, she's a joy to be around, and I'm very thankful that she's now a member, member of our family. Uh, the way her and Chandler are constantly having fun together and supporting each other uh, makes me know they are perfect for each other. Also, the way Kaylin and Chandler care for both Katrina and I's sons uh, just makes me know that they're going to be great parents someday. Kaylin, thank you for being everything that you are to my brother, and welcome to the family. Now, uh, wrap up the speech. Uh, <laughs> since my brother completely screwed up this movie quote at his bachelor party a couple of weeks ago, I figured I'd, figured I'd nail it in front of him. <laughs> it's from the movie Caddyshack. It's easy to grin when your ship comes in and you've got the stock market beat, but a man worthwhile is a man who can smile when his pants aren't too tight in the seat. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's raise our glasses to a lifetime of love and happiness for Chandler and Kalen.